Well, it's going to be a sickly one, so. <laughs> we'll just, just do your best. It's going to be sick. Oh. Lean. Yeah, we're both sick. We just got back from tour with our rock band. Yeah, it's tour infection. It's going to be a... So don't sit too close to your screen. Yeah. Yes, uh, stay away. But get ready to get topicked. Intro. I don't have to say intro every time. How we, how, we have to know when it's going to happen, right? That's true. I guess. Otherwise, people will be confused. Like, why? Why did it suddenly go away? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> is what am I? The end? <laughs> what is this music and graphics here? I don't understand. Uh, I mean, maybe oh. if there was some sort of like precedent, like in other yeah. media or other types of shows where they had had like an intro thing like that, yeah. people would understand, but they don't. So we have to like. We we're the we're the first. We're the pioneers of the intro. Just, yeah. uh, but we've been traveling a lot, and we got sick uh, on tour. Mm-hmm. Probably from the traveling. Yeah, and you but know you know what? Traveling, uh, there's recent findings that uh, we could travel a whole lot faster. Yeah, maybe if we could have a warp drive when we travel, yeah. we wouldn't have gotten sick. That's right. That's right. Is that where you were going with that? That was a, yeah, that was a transition I was, <laughs> I was going for. Yeah, so there's been in the news uh, yeah. lately. I was reading about NASA may have accidentally made a warp drive. What? Yeah, that's probably not true. Uh, you're probably right about that. <laughs> <laughs> but let's report on it anyway. Yeah, well, so there's been a lot of news articles about uh, NASA making this warp drive. What is a uh, warp drive? Yeah, what well, is a warp drive? I guess, yeah. you know, it's uh, it's this thing that, I mean, I think it's popularized by Star Trek, yeah. um, a type of propulsion system that warps space-time so that you can go faster than the speed of light, or get somewhere really fast anyway. Okay. So, like, because apparently space, space-time it can move faster than the speed of light. Yeah. Possibly. Because in, during, during the Big Bang, yeah. sp- the expansion of the universe so went faster than the speed the of light. the speed of light is constant. Yeah. But apparently space and time can go faster than light. Uh, yeah. That's what it seems to be. At least that's what the warp drive seems to uh, use to go fast. But is the warp drive drive real? Can we actually have one, Matt? I don't know. There's theories. There's the... Uh, there was this guy... Al- Alcubierre, who okay. uh, sort of came up with a theory for an Al- Alcubierre drive, which was like a warp drive with yeah. with all the math behind it. Uh, one of the problems with that drive, um, so there is like math behind it, so there is some science around making a warp drive. Um, it seems to be yeah. like theoretically possible. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Why don't you keep talking while I go blow my nose? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. So the warp drive. The Alcubierre warp drive is a theoretically possible engine for a spaceship, and but one of the problems with it is it seems to depend on exotic matter, which may or may not exist, and it may take a lot of energy. Um, there's been some studies that show that it may, t- may not take as much energy as previously thought, but it would still take a lot of energy, and still, if you don't have exotic matter, if it doesn't exist, it's not going to work. Hey, so okay. warp drive, that kind of warp drive seems to be uh, relegated to fantasy for yeah. now. But this thing that NASA did now, yeah. that seems to maybe be a warp drive, is uh, something else called an M drive. They were doing an experiment with an M drive, an okay. EM drive. Okay. Which is this thing, it's basically a can that uh, you shoot microwaves into and they resonate and. They produce thrust somehow, and this this is amazing because it would be a reactionless uh, drive and a okay. reaction because most drives like rockets and stuff like that they need reaction mass they need like a propellant you know they're shooting something out of the back of it to make it go forward. Yeah. This is just electricity goes into the can, makes microwaves like your microwave oven, yeah, and somehow makes an imbalance of forces and makes thrust. And they've done a couple, there's been several experiments with these types of devices that seem to show that there is some kind of thrust happening. Like oh, I, NASA's yeah. been, NASA did this a couple months ago and they, they, they showed they found thrust. Um, they're still doing more experiments. The Chinese have done it and there's been a couple other. I've things. seen a lot of skepticism though. Yeah, well the problem with this, like problem with the reactionless drive yeah. is that it seems to violate the laws of physics. Yeah, uh, in particular, uh, you don't want to violate the laws of physics. Uh, the law of conservation of momentum. Yeah, um, and the Newton's third law, the one where you know every reaction has, has an op- equal and opposite, opposite reaction. reaction. Yes, 
So, you, you know, you, to go somewhere, you need to push against something else, make it something go the other way. Yeah. A reactionless drive doesn't do that. Um, well, then why? How? What? Well, there's a lot of theories about why. They, they don't know how these things work. That's the, the thing about this thing. But so that's they why do they, work for sure? Well, they seem to be finding thrust. They don't know if, like, either, either the things, there's, there's two possibilities. There's the things working and we don't know how it works. Or two, it doesn't work and the way we're measuring it is flawed. Okay. So we're like measuring something else. We're not measuring thrust. We're measuring some something else. That yeah. We're not, we're not sure. But so I'm trying seeing, to figure that out. But I'm seeing headlines that are like, uh, uh, NASA makes warp drive. NASA makes warp drive. Well, so, so the we reason that the reason re- they, reactionless thrust. Yeah. So the warp drive factor here is that's. So uh, this guy Harold White, who works at Eagle Works at NASA, they were doing an experiment where they shot a laser into the base of the M drive, into the resonant chamber. Yeah. And the laser... Why not? I always try to shoot lasers into things. Well, he's been working a lot with like warp drives, like trying to figure out yeah. warp fields and warp things like that. And he's made, this laser is meant to uh, find out if there's a warp field there, like if there's any warping of space-time going on. So he shot it in there. The laser, the path of the laser seemed to be shorter than it should have been. Mm-hmm. Um, which meant the laser light went faster than the speed of light. Um, which seems to indicate that there was some sort of warping of space-time. Or if, if, it was, yeah. if it was working correctly, it was some sort of warping of space-time. So if that is true, the M drive might actually be a warp drive. It's actually warping space-time, and that's how it's producing thrust. But, that, but there's, is there findings? Has there, is there been experiments? Has it been repeated? It, no, it hasn't been, been proven. So they, they're going to repeat it. Okay. Um, the, one of the things that uh, Dr. White was saying is that there was also a measured increase in air temperature within the, the, the experiment chamber or something. Yeah. So they could have something to do with the heating up of the atmosphere, which could yeah. have you know refracted the, the laser in some way yeah. and sort of made it seem like space-time was, uh, was bent. Um, but So they're going to do it again in a vacuum. To see if they can repeat. The, yeah. So well, it all sounds like a whole lot of hooey to me, Matt. I don't. I don't. Maybe it's true. Well, I'm, I'm a little skeptical because you had trouble finding the uh, the information. Yeah. Uh, looking into this, there's a bunch of yeah. articles about yeah. NASA making a warp drive, but the source from where this information comes from is hard to find because it seems to have been posted in a forum. Yeah. And I can't find the original post in the forum because it's there's hundreds of pages. And it's mostly people talking about time travel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like just talking about, um, you know, crazy space stuff. Yeah. So th- th- this, there's still a lot of work to be done. There is no conclusive proof that they've made a warp drive. If anything, probably not. Because it, a warp drive would be an amazing thing to create. And they just don't have the evidence. They don't have the uh, amazing enough evidence to prove that they had a warp drive. This is an example of clickbait at work again, yeah. Matthew. And the media. Well, and the media does this a lot because a couple months ago uh, there was a bunch of articles about NASA making a reactionless drive because they're doing more experiments on this M drive. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the the media likes, you know, clickbaity titles. They like think like the types of articles and the types of headlines that will draw people in warp drive or, you know, yep. or like new, new types of spaceship. But, you know, they never follow up on this. If they follow up on this, like, oh, you know what? A good example of this is, remember when they, they there was the experiment with the neutrinos? And yep. they, they thought they detected neutrinos going faster than the speed of light? Yeah, yeah. Um, but like those, the, the gang from um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? The neutrinos? No. Oh, <laughs> old uh, reference. But, uh, and so they there was an experiment. They thought that they detected neutrinos going faster than the speed of light. And that was all over the news. Like, oh, we've detected something that goes faster than the speed of light, which would break the laws of physics. Yeah. And make other, if this is true, it's a, like, Crazy stuff would be possible. Faster than light travel yeah. would be possible. Faster than light communication or whatever. Yeah. Well, obviously, they figured out that there was like some sort of miscalibration in the yeah. experiment or something like that. And I don't this think is... there was many as many articles about the <laughs> about the miscalibration. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see an article saying, "Oh, we were wrong." Oh, no, they, so I don't think yeah. there's going to be an article talking about like, "Oh, they didn't make a warp drive." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why you have to repeat experiments over and over and over to to make yeah. sure that it's correct. And I think maybe they're reporting on this a bit too prematurely. Yeah, and that's, but, I think that's a problem. But with, we all with really report on science in a lot because yeah. the, the 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 process of science is like a process of uh, of you know error. Yeah, you know, like you. So you, then, 
that just increases skepticism of science and yeah, scientists from people so. from people who are skeptics of it. You know, they're just going to be like, well, I don't know what to believe now. Scientists are all a bunch of dumb dumbs. But it's not really necessarily scientists. It's it's uh, the media. Yeah, the media are dumb dumbs. <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> maybe there's some dumb dumb scientists as well. But uh, uh, we should just uh, you know be patient. Do a little do research of your own if you if you see a headline. Yeah. Don't just go about saying, "Hey, we're going faster than the speed of light, Ma." And this is the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> yeah. Do you know we're going faster than the speed of light? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, uh, I, and I think the internet, in some ways, or at least the way the internet works right now, uh, makes it easier for there to be misinformation. Yeah. Um, we've talked about the, this. Many yeah. Times. Because. You know, if you like, when I try to search for this, you know, like warp drive article, you know, like yeah. I try to find the source of it. Really, what I the most hits I get are the clickbaity titles, like the yeah. the, the Huffington Post articles or whatever, talking about the yeah. experiment. But to, the the ability to find where the yeah these articles some are articles from, <laughs> some hard. articles don't have sources at all. Yeah. Some most articles will link to the same source. They'll all have the yeah. same source, and we'll go to that source. And the source is usually much drier and much less sensational, mm-hmm. and uh, really it, not saying what they're they're claiming. Yeah, uh, oftentimes it could be like totally different than what the yeah. article seems to yeah. seems to suggest. Follow your sources. Uh, that said, we we want you to watch our videos based on titles. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you. But we try to. We, I mean, we we really try to find. We try to find the truth. Yeah. But we also. It, it, the fact is, people aren't going to click if we don't have a good title. Yeah, you know, there's nothing wrong with clickbaity yeah. titles. And yeah. Hank Green has said this before. Yeah, that uh, Hank Green, famous vlogger, yeah. um, has said this before. He's like, there's nothing wrong with having a clickbaity title as long as your content is worth, you know, is is worth the effort. Right. You know, if it, the, the problem with clickbaity titles is if you get something that is isn't doesn't live up to the clickbaity right. title in a way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We. Uh, we but, digress on this topic all the but time. Let's, you know, let's, let's talk about warp drives. Though. Let's talk about warp. Yeah, I was gonna say, what would, if we could travel faster than the speed of light? Where, where would you we do? Could, where would you go? Where would I go? <laughs> yeah. Probably first Jupiter. Yeah. Why it, Jupiter? It's big. Yeah. Uh, yeah then it Saturn. Big. Yeah. Because, because of the rings. Yeah, and then I'd get out of the solar system. Those are the only two planets I really care about. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. Jupiter and Saturn. Other ones are lame. No, just kidding. I'd probably go <laughs> to all the planets, and then uh, I'd try to find the Star Wars universe. Yeah, that's, that's or the Star ga- Wars galaxy. Yeah, it's another galaxy, and it's far, a long time ago. ago. Yeah, well, you uh, might be able to go back in time. I don't know. Yeah, well, we'll see. What about you? Uh, where would I go? Um, I'd probably go go to the store real quick. <laughs> yeah, get some, get some peanuts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I had a warp drive, where would I go in the galaxy? Um, you know, I'd probably want to go to one of those planets that they, you know, that recently found, you know, that are, like, super Earths or whatever, and yeah, see what's going like, on uh, there. Yeah, like exoplanets? Yeah, the exoplanets. See if there's yeah. any, like, life going on there, or what they're like. That would be cool. I think others would probably already be going there before you got a chance. Mm-hmm. Scientists would uh, would get there. Yeah, and then I'd, I'd go into a black hole, and... You, oh, you would? Yeah. And... and, and no, no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> and, of the movie you're referencing. Don't, don't, don't mention it. Don't mention it. And others, I, people I'd don't hang out with Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, if I had something amazing to say. And I don't well, know, and I, I want to go back to talk, talking about the, these M drive. This M drive actually works. This. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask you. Like, you said that there's other applications besides this fast travel. Yeah, right? th- there is. Um, and one of the... It's in, I think it's interesting when technology comes about. Like there's like sort of these consequences that you don't necessarily think about. Yeah. Like obviously there'd be fashion light space travel is amazing and it would change the world. But like it would change the world in a lot of different ways too. Because if you have these M drives, you basically can reduce the weight of things. Mm-hmm. So like one of the practical applications that NASA talks about is being able to waste or uh, reduce the weight of like payloads or cargo in 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 rockets yeah. so that you don't need to use as much rocket fuel to get in space so it's like you don't necessarily have to use it as like as the propulsion system if you can like put something in this box and make it way yeah. less and you could also you could make the spaceships themselves way less yeah and you could, could i weigh less you could weigh less yeah I've been working uh, you on could that. make you could make buildings that weigh less so you it, could make like taller buildings you could make like... taller buildings or like weird buildings or like that would be you know, like usually, you know, you have to build a building a certain way so it doesn't fall apart. But if your building is sort of 
floating or like ways less you could make like crazy but what architecture would it be wasteful this this uh thrust well i mean it would be using electricity but it depends on where the electricity is coming from that's true if it's coming from the sun yeah yeah okay solar panels super thrusters weird weird I mean, world. in a way like maybe buildings would never collapse again or like things wouldn't collapse because you'd have like safety. earthquakes if earthquakes happen you could just lift the buildings up yeah then, or like they'd be stabilizing the buildings um yeah uh i guess you'd have you could have flying cars you what, know like, what, or oh. at least or at least cars that are lighter it's it's, so two, that, it's 2015 we're supposed to have flying cars according to yeah uh, back back to, to the future. The, yeah, so back maybe we're future. maybe we're gonna get them i don't know though uh, I, or at least just floating cars you know, yeah. or like lighter cars. Yeah. You know, you could just pick your car up and that's put if, it into the closet. That's if any closet. of this is true, though. Any that, of this, yeah. which we don't know. I think that's. I think we've we've tackled this topic. I think I'm going to go take a nap now because I feel terrible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, so warp drives are awesome. Yeah. There's some cool stuff happening in NASA. This not this this stuff is actually happening. They're doing these experiments, so this is real, yeah. um, real experiments, and it's cutting edge and it's interesting. But is it warp? Uh, is it a warp drive? Is, is it some sort of reactionless thruster? Is it science fiction coming to life? We don't know yet. It's too early. We, yeah, we but, don't know what's going on. So careful about those headlines. But scientists are trying to figure out what's going on. Yes. Don't believe everything you read. Or hear from two bearded guys on the internet. Nope. Bye. Bye.